Good morning guys. I wanted to quickly go over how to calculate milligrams of THC and explain what it is exactly. I think this is one worth knowing since milligrams of THC is quickly becoming the new dominant unit of measurement when it comes to trying to discuss dosages, just like it's the dominant unit of measurement with prescription medication and a lot of other substances. Also, in legal jurisdictions, it's becoming increasingly the standard way to label the dosage up on marijuana edibles and drinkables. When we talk about weed, traditionally it was always done by weight, um, grams, ounces, pounds, and so on, which was very broad and also very standard. And in the last 15 years, we also started using percent THC to be more precise, which describes the THC content of a particular strain per gram and thus its potency per gram. Um, but that figure was always expressed as a percentage. For example, this strain is 12% THC. But now we've gone one step further to the milligrams. That milligram figure is not as confusing as it seems. If you have one gram of weed, also known as 1,000 milligrams, and it's um, a strain that's 12% THC, that means there's 120 milligrams of THC in that single gram. Um, why do we need to take things to milligrams? Because one standard dosage, especially when it comes to edibles, has been defined as 10 milligrams. 10 milligrams of THC is the amount of THC that a relative novice consumer would need to consume in order to feel mild uh, cannabis effects, a mild high. So if you buy a marijuana chocolate bar and it states that the whole chocolate bar contains 160 milligrams, that means that's, that chocolate bar has 16 of those standard doses and they're most likely divided into the little chocolate squares in that bar. Um, now that doesn't mean that to the average marijuana consumer they'll be able to get decently stoned off of 10 milligrams. As I said in my episode on tolerance, um, just like with alcohol, marijuana tolerance rises. Uh, 10 milligrams is really just a measurement for novices. For myself, I need at least 25 to 30 milligrams. And my tolerance is above average, but it's nothing special. I know super heavy marijuana users who don't feel much of anything until they get to about 50 milligrams. But if you're just starting out with edibles, 10 milligrams should be your first trial run. Obviously, to control dosage on such, like with such precision, you have to live in a legal weed jurisdiction because that's the only way you're going to see the percent THC or the milligram THC figure expressed in a reliable way on a package. So there you go. Now you know what milligrams THC is and how it might apply to you. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you found it useful, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. See you next time.